Yes, come. Uh, oh, I see you are all very excited. Is the exams are approaching and you are getting ready and studying hard? Mm, good, good, good. Uh, one of the subjects which is very close to my heart is movement and its meaning. Each movement has some meaning. But we do not recognize movement and we hardly ever think of a meaning behind that. Only in the stylized world of dance, we try to look at the meaning behind any movement. But the beating of a human heart, the graceful orbiting pathway of the earth around the sun, the vibrations of the tiny microorganisms and the small child reaching for a toy. What do all these have in common? Simple, they all involve movement. Movement is all around us at all times. The study of movement holds many secrets and truths. It is an essential key for the understanding of human expression as well as patterns in nature and universe because movement can be mysterious and ephemeral it is rare that most people take time to consciously observe it observations about movement are often interpreted as intuition do you remember a time when you had a feeling or a hunch about someone, positive or negative, but you could not quite put your finger on it? Your feeling may very well have been your unconscious observations of that person's movement. Whether you are lifting weights, taking a yoga class, carrying a child upstairs or sitting at a computer. Your movement forms a synchronized pattern. Sometimes these patterns are positively insufficient. Other times they are unhealthy, causing chronic pain or injury. Through movement analysis, you will become more mindful of your own movement patterns and gain skills to facilitate ease and mastery in your movement life. Movement mastery involves functional efficiency and expressive satisfaction in movement. So, how can we become more conscious of the movement all around us? How can we understand and make use of the information movement offers? One very valuable tool is Laban Movement Analysis which is called LMA. LMA is a system and a language of observing, describing and noting all forms of movement. A movement analyst can use this language to describe and interpret human movement from the gesture of a hand in conversation to the complex action of a skilled athlete. LMA can be used as a tool by dancers, athletes, physical and occupational therapists and anyone wishing to enhance, refine and clarify movement. Movement reflects our innermost feelings and ways of being in the world. For this reason, many embrace LMA as a philosophy of life and a word view.
Laban movement analysis is a theoretical and experiential system for observation, description, prescription, performance and interpretation of human movement. LMA provides a rich overview of the scope of movement possibilities. These basic elements can be used for generating movement or for describing movement. They provide an inroad to understanding movement and for developing movement efficiency and expressiveness. Each human being combines these movement factors in his or her own unique way and organizes them to create phrases and relationships which reveal personal, artistic or cultural style. At the heart of LMA is a recognition that movement is psychophysical process and outward expression of inner intent. LMA Laban movement analysis is a method and language for describing, visualizing, interpreting and documenting all varieties of human movement. It is one type of Laban movement study originating from the work of Rudolf Laban and developed and extended by Lisa Ullmann, Imgrad Bartiniev, Warren Lem and many others. In addition, many derived practices have developed with great emphasis on LMA methods. Known as Laban Bartiniev movement analysis, it uses a multidisciplinary approach incorporating contributions from anatomy, kinesiology, psychology, lab notation and many other fields. It is used as a tool by dancers, actors, musicians, athletes, physical and occupational therapists, psychotherapy, peace studies, anthropology, business consultation, leadership development, health and wellness and is one of the most widely used systems of human movement analysis today. Laban movement analysis moves beyond biomechanics to examine and record what we move, where we move, how we move and why we move. Laban codified movement studies in the realm of dance, occupational movement and in the realm of everyday movement to examine movement actions, to identify patterns and to provide movement intentionality that increases efficiency, support and well-being. Laban movement analysis is generally divided into the cat many categories, uh, four categories, mainly the body which has Bartinia fundamentals total body connectivity, effort, the energetic dynamics, shape and space, choreotic and space harmony. Uh, we will go in detail the effort graph and which has effort elements. Effort is what is described by Laban sometimes as dynamics is a system for understanding the more subtle characteristics about the way a movement is done with respect to inner intention. The difference between punching someone in anger and reaching for a glass is slight in terms of body organization. Both rely on extension of the arm. The attention to the strength of the movement the control of the movement and the timing of the movement are very different. Laban named the combination of the first three categories that is space, weight and time, effort actions or action drive. The eight combinations are descriptively named float, punch or thrust, glide, slash, deb, ring, flick and press. The action efforts have been used extensively to train in the ability 
to change quickly between physical manifestations of the emotions. Flow on the other hand is responsible for the continuousness or on ongoingness of motion. Without any flow effort, movement must be contained in a single initiation and action, which is why there are specific names for the flowless action configuration of effort. In general, it is very difficult to remove flow from much movement and so a full analysis of effort will typically need to go by beyond the effort actions. Shape While the body category primarily develops connection within the body and the body space intent, the way the body changes shape during movement is further experienced and analyzed through the shape category. It is important to remember that all categories are related and shape is often an integrating factor for combining the categories into a meaningful movement. These are three modes of shape change. One is shape flow representing a relationship of body to itself. Essentially a stream of consciousness expressed through movement. This could amoebic movement or could be mundane habitual actions like shrugging, shivering, rubbing or injured shoulder and so and so. Directional representing a relationship where body is directed towards some part of the environment is divided further into spoke like and arc like swinging, tennis racket, painting a fence or carving representing a relationship where body is actively and three dimensionally interacting with the volume of the environment. Example includes kneading the bread dough, wringing out a towel, avoiding the laser beam or miming the shape of an imaginary object. Space, one of Laban's primary contribution to Laban movement analysis, LMA are his theories of space. This category involves motion in connection with the environment and with spatial patterns, pathways and lines of spatial tension. Laban described a complex system of geometry based on crystalline forms, platonic solids and the structure of the human body. He felt that there were ways of organizing and moving in space that were specifically harmonious in the same sense as the music can be harmonious. Some combinations and organizations were more theoretically and aesthetically pleasing as with music Space harmony sometimes takes the form of set of scales of movement within the geometrical forms. This category also describes and notates choices which refer specifically to space, paying attention to kinesphere, the area that the body is moving within and how the mover is paying attention to it. Spatial intention, the directions or points in space that the mover is identifying or using. Geometrical observations of where the movement is being done in terms of emphasis of directions, places in space, planar movement, etc. Although movement analysis has most commonly been utilized as a tool to record the fine art of dance, it has found application as a personality assessment tool by Warren Lamb, a rehabilitative discipline in Grand Bartiniev and a development theory of movement, Judith Kastenberg. LMA 
is an embodied knowledge and experiential learning experience. It provides education to make a whole person, self a psychological, physical, sociological, spiritual. It gives understanding of the relationships between individual, group, society. LMA is a perspective for both theory and practice. It is dynamic, evolving body of knowledge, a living system for our changing world and provides transformative experiences. One can use movement in education for a full range of content or subject matter. Teaching movement with a larger lens, dance, theater, fitness, health, community, recreating helps. Learners are active agents in their own empowered learning rather than passive recipients of perceived knowledge. Movement goes out into space and creates shapes. But also there is inner space and breath is an inner shaping experience. The body shrinks and grows with each breath. Inner breath changes can be supported by sound. Posture is not built by muscles, but by the whole way you breathe, says Imran Bartiniev. Laban reformed the role of dance in education. He believed passionately that dance in some form should be available to everyone. Laban leaves an important legacy beyond dance. His broad vision revealed the general laws of human movement as they occur in work and at play, in expression and relationships, and in everyday life. Laban believed that movement of the body and of the mind is the basis of all human activity. Consequently, the system has been used by wide and diverse range of groups and individuals including dancers, athletes, actors, researchers, sociologists, psychologists, therapists and educators. Laban promoted movement study as a means of fostering human capacities for creativity, imagination and wisdom. He hoped to counterbalance society's growing fascination with machines and technology. As a visionary, he saw the advantages of new tools, but he remained acutely aware of the dichotomy between progress and spiritual decay that was emerging. Movement is the constant change and interplay in the relationship between body, mind and psyche. It is apparent that movement really does express our ways of being in and interacting with the world around us. Through movement, we can begin to interconnect all of our inner attitudes and achieve a great sense of balance and wholeness in our lives. Laban movement analysis is one system with the potential to launch us and support us in this journey. Dance notation is to dance what musical notation is to music and what the written word is to drama. In dance, notation is the translation of four dimensional movement, time being the fourth dimension into signs written on two dimensional paper. A fifth dimension that is dynamics or the quality, texture and phrasing of movement should also be considered an integral part of notation. Although it most system it is not. Dance poses recorded through pictures date to early dynastic Egyptian wall paintings. Ancient Greek vases that depict dancing figures and iconographic examples from many other early cultures. Verbal descriptions of dances have been found in India in Natya Shastra dating to approximately 2nd century BC. In Europe, during the 15th to 17th centuries, many treatises on dance were written in the form of descriptions often accompanied by illustrations. However, none of these can be clearly defined as a system through which actual dance movements as opposed to positions 
could be captured and subsequently faithfully reconstructed. Although good workable systems have been around for centuries, the use of dance notation has never been an integral part of dance study and practice as musical notation is in the study of music. Writing a dance score inevitably takes time as does writing a book or a symphony. The time spent learning to read and write notation was often seen as wasted. Until the development in 1960s of the simple motif notation related to Laba notation and its application in the language of dance teaching method, in which the basic movement building blocks are explored, notation was not included in a child's introduction to movement. Dance was still taught solely by imitation. The study of Laba notation includes an investigation into the movement that not only enriches a dancer's understanding of the movement, but also provides dance students with access to the scores of significant works of the past. The advent of film and particularly in 1970s of video recording overshadowed the notation. Video has immediate appeal to the dancers because it requires no lengthy study. Through experience, however, members of the dance world have come to recognize its limitations. The image is often not clear and costumes or other dancers often block the view. A video is a record of a particular performance in which the dancers may have made mistakes, which is frequently the case. The viewer is unable to recognize the difference between the dance performance and the dance itself. Learning from video too often results in the personal mannerisms or mistakes of one dancer being picked up and exaggerated by another, which thus distorts the choreography. In contrast, the notated score is a record of the work itself in the same way that a musical score represents the work, not an individual's performance of that work. In a score, all aspects of choreographic detail, use of stage space, the relationship of performers to each other and to the music, and the choreographer's development of movement themes can be easily studied. Although its use in the dance field has spread more slowly than many dance historians anticipated, notation remains an essential tool. In addition to accuracy and accurately recording a working choreographer's movement concepts, it uniquely enables to faithful preservation of the past works, a major concern in the dance world. In music, scores from centuries past have preserved classic works which modern composers may wish to modify, rearrange or parody without loss of the originals. In dance, reliance on memory has resulted in an accumulative distortion of originals. Without notation, unintentional changes soon become the known version and the viewing public has no idea of the loss of authenticity. Lab notation is a system for recording movement on paper. Lab notation or kinetography laban is a notation system for recording and analyzing human movement that was created by Rudolf Laban and further developed by Ian Hutchinson Guest and others. First published in 1928, the system has since been highly developed through use by many practitioners in a wide range of movement styles and disciplines all over the world. Understanding of the Laban notation score is enriched by study and performance notes, which provide an aid in exploring the movement sequences and bringing the choreography to life. Whenever possible, historical background, biographical information and additional detail of the value to researcher and dance scholars is included. Laba notation is used as a type of dance notation and in 
other applications including Laban movement analysis, robotics and human movement simulation. In 1920s, Rudolf Lafan, working in collaboration with colleagues, developed a notation system that could be used to describe movements in terms of spatial models and concepts. Laban notation has developed over time to meet new needs. The Laban notation system was expanded to allow it to convey the motivation or meaning behind movements. The principal concepts of the Laban notation are few uh, and it uses abstract symbols to define the direction and level of the movement, the part of the body doing the movement, duration of the movement, the anemic quality of the movement. Uh, Laban notation is a record of the facts, the framework of the movement so that it can be reproduced. The symbols are placed on vertical staff, the horizontal dimension of the staff represent the symmetry of the body and the vertical dimension represent time passing by. The location of a symbol on the staff defines the body part it re represents. The central line of the staff represents the central line of the body. Symbols on the right represent the right side of the body, symbols on the left represent the left side of the body. Movement is indicated as the transition from point 1 to the next, that is as one directional destination to the next. The spatial distance, spatial relationship, transfer of weight, center of weight, turns, body parts, paths and floor plans can all be notated by specific symbols. Jumps are indicated by an absence of any symbol in the support column, indicating that no part of bodies is touching the floor. Dynamics in Leban notation are also indicated through a set of symbols indicating a rise or lowering of energy resulting from physical or emotional needs. That is physically forceful versus an intense emotional state. In Laban notation, it is possible to record every kind of human motion. Laban notation is not connected to a singular specific style of dance, unlike other dance notations. The basic is natural human motion and every change from this natural human motion that is the turned out leg has to be specifically written down in notation. A way of writing which tries to record every aspect of motion is as precise as possible. Effort shape description is used to record the energy content of a motion. It is used in industrial research as well as in physiotherapy and psychotherapy. From the 1930s to 1990s, the LMA and notation system was refined, given a more universal basis and developed to a high level by research practitioners in Germany, England and the United States. In the time, textbooks on the Laban system were published in English, French, German, Dutch, Polish, Hungarian, Spanish and Swedish. Many other publications of noted dance techniques, dances of different cultures around the world and significant choreographic scores have appeared. The Laban system is an alphabet system in that symbols represent movement components through which each pattern is spelled out. Like, unlike some other notation system which use distinct symbols to represent establishment movement forms. It uses A, B, C, D and has all the parts. In standard Laban notation, a vertical three line staff represents the performer. The center line divides the staff into right and left columns, which represent the main body parts. The staff read from bottom to top is written from the performer's point of view. Each direction symbol 
is based on a rectangle and indicates four movement factors. Its shape shows the direction of the movement, its shading indicates its level, its length represents the duration of the movement. The shorter, the quicker, the longer, the more extended in time and its placement on the staff indicates the part of the body. This is in action. Fam families of signs represent the minor body parts. The additional signs such as pins and hooks denote details modifying the main action. The Dance Notation Bureau in New York City was established in 1940. The notation of the choreographic works was undertaken to provide a literary heritage for dance. An interest developed in recording historical national ballet and contemporary dances in both Western and non-Western cultures. Laba notation centers were established in China, France, Germany, Japan, Poland and the United Kingdom. From the 1950s, Laba notation was included in dance studies in colleges and universities in the United States and around the world. Even in India, some work is already done using Laban movement analysis for Padams of Bharatanatyam and to understand the bhava and the symbols therein and also Laban movement notation is used as the graphic representation of the Adavus of Bharatanatyam. So, here is the Laban movement analysis and notation a brief survey for you. Thank you. Namaste. Mm -hmm.